So what's up YouTube family? This is D from Brooklyn checking in with an update of the Reef Molly project. As you can see, these guys have had another batch of fry and they are looking much more active than the first batch. I let the algae grow in a few places to give them some natural forage. I removed the patch of uh, chato that was down here. But as you can see, these dudes are all over the place. They're over the glass. I can clean the glass because I got like my little magnet. I've been trying not to screw them up a little bit. But uh, they are just having a good old time in there and multiplying. So these guys for those of you who ha may have not watched prior videos these guys are in the salinity of the frag tank they are 1.0 uh 1.0 0.026 so they are in full reef salinity and for your reference i will show you the old hydrometer of course i don't use this but for those of you that want clarification they are at 1.026, which is full reef salinity, which is the same water chemistry as the frag tank. And these guys are doing great. They've been in here for about a year. Uh, the parents are getting along very well. I haven't had to pull anybody out. Um, they are already eating uh, my uh, Hikari fry foods. I basically feed them the first bites by Hikari the first bites and I try to get them eating the flake food I crumble up the flake food into like a dust like and get them eating that because the flake food puts a lot of growth on them fast and the one thing about the Hikari foods um, in comparison to people that feed Infusoria and uh, baby brine a i don't have the patience for the baby brine <laughs> i'm not right i get home late i don't have the patience to do that but the uh, brine shrimp aren't the most nutritional as far as getting growth on the fish from what i've seen whereas some of these foods are really balanced with the proteins and things that the fish need to get big and i think it's really important to get them eating the same foods also in order to keep the tank clean because as you can see algae will grow fast as nutrients grow so i've been leaving this tank alone for the most part with the exception of cleaning the glass i worked late the last few nights this week so this glass is pretty out there dirty but no big deal as you can see i have the magnet cleans it really quick i'll do a water change tomorrow but uh yeah when you have the fry in there i don't want to be changing water too much because it can kind of shock them a bit and uh, I'm still playing around with what kind of fish to put in the outside tubs. I'm not going to put these guys out there because these are reef acclimated. But uh, I love seeing these guys swim around. I actually have a large batch of what looks like the marble sorted fry. Hard to see them. Hard to focus on them because they're so small. But uh, And don't worry about the shrimp. He doesn't bother anybody. He's actually pretty good in there as far as cleaning up the food that hits the floor but uh yeah these guys have been growing pretty quick has a good shot of one there and these grays from my old parents that were the uh black molly and the white these grays have come out which are not the most beautiful fish they're really odd as they get bigger i kind of think they look like bunker <laughs> if you guys that uh, go fishing they're kind of the color of bunkers which isn't the most pretty uh fish so i'm i'm trying to crossbreed them with different varieties of marbles just to get all of them salt ready and i'll move them to my tanks i'll move them to the sump i may even move them in here because uh, i haven't put anything in there other than my uh my boy there my silver sand blenny here he's chilling still chilling he's not gonna bother anybody so i may put some in here which I just worry about them going into these uh, zinnia because I don't know these zinnia will uh, grab those babies. You got to remember that these corals still are aggressive, especially things like frog spawn. They'll grab whatever whatever sticks to those tentacles, and these guys don't know any better. So, for the most part, I'm just leaving them alone. There's a lot of them. It's probably more than 20 or so in there, at the very least. Um, uh, leave your questions below. Always a good project. 
Uh, I am not a Molly guy. I'm not a Tetra guy. I've kept so many fish over years from saltwater to freshwater to Oscars, cichlids, Africans, rams, everything that I'm just interested in the crossbreeding of brackish water species to like full salt and, and vice versa that it's a fun experiment. So those of you that have asked that question, there's your answer to that. And on the other side, Congo Tetras have put quite a few pounds on. They're getting bigger. The skunk botilla loaches have also gotten larger. Um, they're eating well. I've taken a lot of plants out of this tank in order to get the uh, outdoor container started. So there's some space to actually move around in here. Uh, I have a few betas in here. But Congos, basically I have tight quarters. So you have to keep the fish in quarters that are fair to their growth rate. I mean, I could get cichlids. I'd see people got 20 cichlids and a 50 gallon and vice versa. To me, that's not exactly fun. It's just packing a lot of fish into a small space. So my goal is to actually raise certain fish, see if I could cross breed them or breed them to certain traits that I want to see brought out in the fish and uh, and go from there. I mean, I'm becoming a very big fan of variatus. There's several variatus in there, like this one there. And pardon that blur. I think my lens on the camera is dirty. I had it in my pocket. <laughs> but uh, I've become very interested in the Congo Tetras. Uh, I may get a bigger... I may move the cube in here. I may move that 15-gallon uh, cube outside and move my 50 gallon cube into its space and actually take down that molly cube and move them to the much bigger tank where I can get other species in there. But I'm still playing around with that because of course I don't like a lot of tanks in a house. I like everything to have a flow. Like this is my little waterfall happy tank. It's full of different species of guppies which have also bred. These pot belly sailfin mollies. Yes, mollies again. Yes, I'm going nuts with the mollies, but these are pot belly sailfins. Try to focus, get a better picture, but it's focusing with that dirty glass. Okay. I got quite a few fry in here. Those are probably straight guppies. They're not the pot bellies, but time will tell. But there are quite a few in there, as you can see. I don't pull them out. I believe in nature finding a way. There's a hell of a lot of plant growth in there, so they usually do all well. This is my little waterfall filtration. Basically an inside tank. I got a box filter in there, which I don't even know why I have because I never change it out. I basically change the water here, let the plants do the filtration, and go from there. So a few different varieties of guppy. There are those sail fins in there. There are actually some cherry red shrimp in there. You'll never find them because the growth is so dense in there. But you can see a lot of fry in there. I don't know whose fry these are, but there are a lot of them in there. Probably guppies if I was a betting man. But uh, that's the fun in the hobby. The fun in the hobby is having a goal, making a plan, and sticking to the plan rather than just throwing a bunch of fish in there and seeing what happens and leaving it to fate. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click subscribe. Leave your comments below. If there's anything that you are looking to see, leave them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing you guys, hearing from you guys. Um, I got all the parts for my outdoor greenhouse, so I may start that very soon. Like I said, I've been working pretty late, so I haven't had time to do a lot. Uh, and also, even the plants have regrown. I've taken these plants, thrown them outside. They've already covered the surface, covered the surface of the tank. So there's a testament to good old fashioned T5 lighting. All right, peoples, this is D. Get ready for the meeting. Going to the Brooklyn Aquarium Society meeting tonight. It's Friday, second Friday of the month. Hope to see you guys there. I'll be by the door. And with that being said, I'm out. See ya.